In this video, I'm going to teach you the tipping trick. What's the tipping trick? When installing an infant seat like this without the base, if your seat has a European belt path, that's one where the shoulder belt is gonna wrap around the back of the car seat. Sometimes you might find that the shoulder belt seems too short to wrap around. That's where the tipping trick comes in. So let's start from the beginning. First, baby is buckled nice and snug. Second, set the seat down, make sure it's properly reclined. Most seats have a line, make sure that line is parallel to the pavement. Then take the lap belt, tuck it into the lap belt guides over the baby's lap and buckle it in. Notice that I have not pulled all of my seat belt out yet. Now, pull the belt slowly out to the very end to put it into its locking mode. Then, wrap the belt around the back of the seat. In this car, the belt is long enough to wrap around. But let's say I get into a car where the belt is shorter. Let's say, maybe that's all the belt that I have. It's not going to wrap around, but with the tipping trick, it will. Here's the trick. Take the hand that's on the side opposite to where you've buckled the seatbelt, so that's my left hand here, and hold the shoulder belt so that it does not get shorter, meaning don't let any go back in. So I'm holding tension out this way. Now I have three steps with my right hand. Step one, tip the seat up. Step two, take the shoulder belt, wrap it around the back of the seat and put it into the guide designated for the shoulder belt. Step three, Take my right hand and push down at the top of the seat until it's back so that it's properly reclined. Again, check the red line or whatever line is on the side of your child's car seat. Then my left hand can let go and I'm gonna to proceed to tighten the seat as usual. I suggest standing behind the seat, using your thighs on the top of the seat. Don't lift the seat up in any way. So keep your knees straight and put your feet towards the front of the car. Hold the shoulder belt. This hand holds here and pulls to the front of the car. This hand holds here and pushes to the back of the car. Think of as feeding the mouth there. Shift the seat side to side as you pull. If you can't fit from behind, you can also install it from the side. Kneel on the cushion. Put your chest or stomach on the top of the seat. Hold the shoulder belt the same way. This hand pulls this way. This hand pushes this way. And shift the seat side to side. Make sure that you are not doing anything to lift the seat up here, meaning don't get your knee in the way over there. And then check that it's tight. Grab hold near where the lap belt is, pull towards you and away from you, and it should move less than an inch. We suggest keeping the handle up unless your car seat states otherwise. When you get to where you're going to take it out, hold the shoulder belt, unbuckle it, reach around the back, take it out of the guide, and now you're free and clear. When will the tipping trick not work? In seats like this Cybex Cloud Q, where the lap belt is going through the handle and the handle is resting against the back of the vehicle seat, you will not be able to tip the seat up. Other seats that currently have this setup where the lap belt is through the handle and the handle is against the seat back are the Peg Perigo Primo Viaggio 4 to 35 and the Duna. In these situations, we have found that many seatbelts will be too short to allow the European belt path. 